MRP, that stands for Mountain Racing Products. MRP is out of Grand Junction. Ready for an initial test ride. That feels good. Woo! <laughs> nice. But the little river, don't get swept away. What is up everyone, Minor Biker here. Always exciting when you come home from work and you got a box full of bike stuff waiting for you when you get home. Very exciting, especially this box. This box is very special. Really excited for it, so let's dive into this box and see what we got. I was using box knife. Oh, I'm excited for this. Get this bad boy out. See on the box right there what it says. MRP, that stands for Mountain Racing Products. MRP is out of Grand Junction. Most people know MRP for their bash guards, chain guides that are very widely used, but they also make suspension, great coil shocks, and air and coil forks, as well as some other stuff. I'm actually really excited to have the opportunity to run and represent MRP for this year. I've got everything I need here to fully out, outfit my LaSalle Peak with MRP suspension and an MRP bash guard chain guide. Super excited. I actually ran an MRP hazard on my old LaSalle, that, that frame that's up there on the wall right there. I ran an MRP hazard coil shock on that for quite a while and really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to have a hazard coil on this bike now and also going to be running their air fork and going to be swapping to the MRP chain guide and bash guard. Oops, so there it is. That is the MRP ribbon air fork. Of course, I had to get it with red decals. Got MRP's unique outcast arch there. 170 millimeters of travel. Got the built-in ramp control over there. Instead of using volume tokens, you can control how much your fork ramps just by turning that knob. We got another box. This one's a little smaller. This should be my hazard coil shock. Oh yeah. Check that bad boy out. That is pretty. Got bearing hardware at the bottom, which would be really nice. Had them put the I got a super light coil spring on there, it makes it a little bit lighter. All right, we got a shock and a fork. What else is in here? More stuff bash guard and chain guide. This is the new all mountain one, which is just recently redesigned this year. Should work nicely with my 32 tooth old chain ring. Alrighty, so there we have it. We've got the hazard coil shock, the new bash guard chain guide, and a ribbon air fork. Super excited to put them on this bike right here. Not that I don't like this rock sock suspension, it has been perfectly good. Goodbye, Rock Chucks. Super Deluxe. In case anyone's wondering, the torque spec on the shock bolt, I'm 
kind of bizarre. Like this, eight newton meters. All right, I got the shock installed. Looks really nice. Just do be able to fit the water bottle there just fine. The air can or the piggyback doesn't come down any further than on the air shock. Everything clear is just perfect. Looks really good in there. Alrighty, there is the fork installed. Probably can't see anything from the glare through the window. Take these little guys off. Your pressure relief valves from your high elevation or something. Alright, here it is all put together. Ready for an initial test ride. Got the bash guard chain guide down there behind my absolute black oval chain ring. There's the hazard coil shock all ready to roll. Got the initial settings dialed in based on the user's manual and we can adjust from there. And then here is the ribbon fork. Also all set up according to initial recommended settings for my body weight. And then we'll tweak and adjust on the first ride always good to take a shock pump and stuff with you when you're testing new suspension yep super cool looks beautiful matches the red and the gray on the bike very very well so excited to go take this for a test ride what's up everyone my biker here and the doggies are out early in the morning before work gorgeous spring day richfield trails the lower stuff's just getting good to go that's what we're hitting and today is the first ride on the new MRP suspension on the LaSalle Peak. Super stoked. Let's go test her out. Nice. <laughs> Definitely has not given up any of its pedaling or climbing ability. Uh, as good as you're gonna get on a bike this big. Alright, time for some downhill on Juniper Drop. Ah! Trail's still pretty loose. Good, plush, really plush. Of course, I've been riding my signal peak a lot. Of course, this bike's gonna feel plush by the first.
pine tree coming down to get you. <laughs> ah, it's bed my front and rear rebound up. a little bit faster rebound. I feel like before on repeated hit through rock gardens like that I was packing in a little bit. Didn't anybody ever tell you not to cut switchbacks, dog? Bad trail etiquette. <laughs> Come on, buddy. That's good boy. Oh, man. Buttery smooth. I felt so good across there. Oh, that's a little hot and flat. Yep. Easy. <laughs> a lot of snow melt water, huh, bud? <laughs> Quite the little river, don't get swept away. All right, so there you have it. First ride on the MRP suspension. Overall, really felt good. Played around with the rebound a little bit. Uh, I think I got it feeling real good as well. I may still have some fine tuning to do a little bit as well as with maybe 
playing with the compression a little on the rear shock, but I don't think it needs a whole lot. Overall felt good. I think the spring rate's pretty good. It's nice and definitely plush, but didn't feel like I was blowing through the travel and bottoming out at all. Even on some of the fairly decent sized hits. We'll see how it does when I do like telegraph and spinal tap that have some little bit bigger hits. But still felt good, so I think that's pretty dang close. The ribbon fork felt great. I think it's actually the air pressures and stuff on it actually felt really good. I think it's about right where it needs to be. So that's nice. Not play with that too much. Didn't move the ramp control at all. It felt like it was doing really well. I was using never used quite all the travel, but I came pretty close on some of the pretty big pretty big hit. So I can always play with that. I love that MRP has the ramp control instead of just using the the tokens or volume spacers, it makes it nice. You can adjust your ramp on the fly. That felt good. Obviously, you got the bash guard chain guide. Chain didn't fall off. Didn't hit the bash guard on anything. So, yeah. We'll see. Kept the chain on. I'm not sure if it actually did anything. If it needed to do anything, but chain didn't fall off, so that's good. We'll see when I hit it on something, how it holds up. Didn't hit it on anything on that ride. Overall, felt good. Looks great. Stoked to be riding this MRP stuff. Excited to get. A MRP fork on my signal peak as well here in the near future that'll be fun anyways thanks everybody for watching stoke the springs here in Richfield and uh, yeah check out the other videos on the channel especially all the Richfield stuff that will be linked in the cards in the upper hand corner leave a like for the trail doggies over there they enjoyed taking a dip in all the nice runoff so yeah leave us coming down below like that hit button subscribe if you haven't already if you have thank you so much Keep digging up new places to ride and adventure in the great outdoors.